Hello guys, Dusty here with another video game pickup video with more video games. Oh, I'm so excited. But yes, uh, we have found more video games. So to get started, we have one that's not too exciting. It's from the local pawn shop. And can you keep your motorcycle racket down? I'm trying to do a video here. Come on, production production goes into this. I mean, like, I, I think every video costs me on average 25 cents of electricity with lights and stuff. So anyway... <laughs> We, we found this at the pawn shop for two dollars. It's a uh, Namco Museum Battle Collection. I don't remember it being this water damaged when I bought it, but I guess it was. Anyway, the the, the game and the manual are in good shape, so yeah, dollar ninety nine. I can't complain too much. All right, next up. Next up, we went to the garage sales and we found video games. So, um, what well, better to start with? $40 of PlayStation games, but see, here's the thing. I was looking at this, I was looking at this box, and the person holding the garage sale was like, nah, you know, I can go lower on it, probably, if you want. So I had to think at that point, I, okay, I had, to, I had to use my mad negotiating skills. Um, okay, so if I say 20, she's going to go 25. If I go 15, she's going to say 20. If I say any lower than 15, she's probably going to not be interested in negotiating. So I went with 15. And she said 20. So I got the box for 20. Okay, so, and yeah, she said, Oh, they're my son's games. I can't really sell them for any, you know, that kind of thing. And it's just not a bad box of games. I don't know if it would have been worth picking up for, well, I, I think it would have been worth picking up for 40. But still, I mean, still a, still a big box of PlayStation games. So get started. We got... And they were all, like, out of sorts, too, so I had to, like, sort them back together. And apparently, this one's manual's upside down. But every game was in here, fortunately. They were all, like, in different cases and disorganized and in some, like, disposable cases and whatnot. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. This is this is going great so far. Okay, we got... Come on. Let's, let's... <sighs> Gotta do this right. I think I just damaged it, but it's Roller Coaster Tycoon. Watch this be like a $3 billion game, <coughs> and I damaged it on camera. That that would be embarrassing. This is not... This is annoying. Okay, we got Roller Coaster Tycoon. We'll worry about it later. And when I say Roller Coaster Tycoon, we got Railroad Tycoon, because that's a thing that exists. Anyway, moving right along, we've got... I think this is... No, this is the one game that did not have any kind of case. This is Need for Speed 3 Hot Pursuit, uh, which I think at this point I actually own two backs to this game, no fronts, and, like, four discs. So, anyway. Um, <laughs> next up, we've got Monopoly for the PlayStation 1. Uh, oddly enough, one of my most popular Let's Plays um, was Monopoly on the PlayStation 1. And for some reason, PlayStation 1 games just no longer close all the way. This is this is going to bug me if I don't fix it for the entire video, okay? I'm sorry, guys. It just... Uh, uh, come on. And apparently the manuals don't go in them anymore. Okay, there we go. Closure. So yeah, this is a Monopoly PlayStation 1. It's, com it's complete in good shape, so... Another exciting game. Then we have probably the best find for the PlayStation 1 ever. We got Golden Nugget. Um, it, it doesn't even have the manual. It's Golden Nugget. Um, has both discs, though. I think this is probably actually the least valuable PlayStation 1 game, fun fact. Um, so yeah, that's always fun to find. Uh, we also got Nash Car 2001. Falling out of its case and breaking and causing pain to my heart. And when I say NASCAR 2001, I mean NASCAR 99, because... Apparently, these are all mixed up still. That one's mixed up anyway, but... Okay, we have... Yeah, all these are empty. These are just game... Case, cases that games were once in and now are no longer. And everything's falling over, great. <coughs> so next up, we got... Um, I kind of want to go through some of the boring ones first before we get to the interesting ones. We got Scrabble! I actually had this disc only, so now I have it complete. Woohoo. We got the Game of Life. I don't know. I've always liked board game video games, so it's cool to have. Uh, we've got Ridge Racer! Ridge Racer! For the PlayStation 1. 
I, it's it's Ridge Racer. I didn't have it before, so that's pretty cool to find it. But because it's an also important game, and it will make the PS3 sales skyrocket. Uh, anyway, that's a reference nobody's gonna get. So we got the Italian Job, and it's in there and everything. So that's fine with the GT GTA 2 advert in there. So that's fun. It's a Rockstar game. Huh? Didn't know that. Anyway, it's, yeah, Italian Job. I never heard of it, so. Whatever. We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. I'm not actually sure if I had Pro Skater 4 on the PlayStation 1, so, yeah. Cool to have it now. We've got another copy of Real Fishing. I can put this in my pile of copies of Real Fishing. Um, and it doesn't have the front to it, so that's fun. We also got the, the, the best game, NCAA Football 2001. It's fantastic. I love it. It's, it's my favorite. Then we got... Okay, let's see. Medal of Honor for the PlayStation again. Oh, this one's disc only too. It's just in this case there. So yeah. Chess Master Two. We got any more or less interesting games? We got Tony Hawk's Pro Skater Two without the cover. Civilization Two. Frogger without the cover. NCAA Football 99. And then we got some interactive CDs. We got the Final Fantasy VII uh, Squaresoft on PlayStation previews. Interesting. I like having these things. They're interesting. Then we got Interactive CD Sampler Pack. And I think I might actually have this one to school me. So cool to have it in the little sleeve there. And then we also got another one down here. We got Medieval Demo CD. So, yeah. That's cool. Okay, so next up we got Crash Bandicoot Warped. Um, I think I only have a greatest hits. I, I'm not gonna check now, but yeah, it is complete. Um, and in decent shape besides this situation going on right. This, it does that. That's that's added bonus. Yeah, and then next up we got any other less interesting games. Okay, we got uh, Battle Stations. From EA, it has explosive two-player action, so uh, that would be great if I had friends. Uh, and we also got, um, okay, finally, game that I did not have before and now finally have on the PlayStation, Grand Theft Auto. And I've actually found this at the thrift store before in Iowa Falls, but it was in really bad shape, so I didn't pick it up. This one's in clean shape, so, and it was part of a box that I spent $20 on. Now, what really makes the box worth $20, the, the, the cool games. We got Twisted Metal 4, which I did not have, so I'm okay with it just being, you know, without the cover. Though I would like to have the cover, I mean, you know. Still, it's better than having no Twisted Metal 4 at all. Then, we've got, oh, this is familiar, and it's also fallen out of its case and probably damaged and destroyed now. We got Medieval, with just the back and the front there. But yeah, I picked up this game recently, uh, complete in good shape with Medieval 2. And apparently they must have liked the demo, so. Uh, because they end up buying the game. Next up, we've got, oh, this is, this is Final Fantasy 8. I, I can count Roman numerals. This is Final Fantasy 8, uh, for the PlayStation 1. And everything is in here. Um, and it's in great shape. So, very happy to find this. I've heard this is, like, kind of the one of the... A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't kind of Final Fantasies. I don't know, I've never gotten into Final Fantasy yet. Uh, I plan on playing them in order eventually, starting with Dawn of Souls on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, because I do have that somewhere. But yeah, we got Final Fantasy VIII. Call back to this later. Just keep this one in your heads. Okay. And by the way, first Final Fantasy game on the original PlayStation... Don't even have tactics. Don't even have any of the spin-offs like Magical Chocobo Race or whatever. Um, yeah, it's my first Final Fantasy game on the original PlayStation. And I think a disc just, like, dislodged. Probably. Yes, it did. Because PlayStation 1 cases. Fun. Alright. <laughs> and then last but not least, we have one that looks kind of interesting. We got Vagrant Story, another Squaresoft game. Uh, and once again, I think the disc has decided to run free. So, yeah, that's just fantastic. Um, but, yeah. And it also doesn't have a manual, but... Unless this is the manual. No, it's not. So, yeah. 
It also has a 2000 Collector's CD Volume 3, so that's fun. But yeah, I figure that box for 20 bucks, I would say that's pretty much worth it. So, uh, and yeah, I got an empty box too. It's always a bonus. That can go over there. Okay, next up, we went to the Goodwill one day, and um, we... So they had two boxes, and I bought... I purchased both boxes. Each box was $10. And this was, this was apparently originally $80.75, but the Goodwill decided, you know what, we're going to sell it for 10 And this box contains a GameCube, all right? It contains a GameCube with two official memory cards, including the Animal Crossing memory card, which I might still be looking for an Animal Crossing memory card. I'm not sure about that one, but anyway, yeah, didn't have any games in it. It's the uh, second revision of the GameCube, so it doesn't have the component port. Um, or the second serial port. Yeah, it's good shape. What more can you ask? We also got, of course, the leads to it, all the all the power and the um, AV stuff. And we also got a generic Mad Cats controller. So ten bucks. I don't think that's too bad. I've always wanted to take one of these apart to see what's inside, because I think I've taken apart a crappier Mad Cats one, and it was kind of interesting. So yeah, nonetheless, we got GameCube stuff. That's the first box, and this is apparently garage sale box. So yeah, Baps, Baps garage sale. I don't know. Can you, can you guys read that? I can't read that. But yeah, uh, nonetheless, it exists. And we also got this box right here, which this is. This is an interesting box. It doesn't have much more information on it. It doesn't look like it. It does have Dollar General Baby box diaper thing. So that's good. Uh, but yeah, it came with a PlayStation with two memory cards. And now uh, the interesting thing is I did not have a... Um... <laughs> just saw something. Um, I did not have an official PlayStation memory card. So... Um, that is going to go, and also this one, because I can use as many of these as I can get, uh, in the memory card store. This is the memory card store, I think, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so, GameCube memory card right there. I think it's the GameCube memory card store. But yeah, um, and apparently, <laughs> apparently I can rest safely knowing that this is inspected by GameStop refurbishing. So, yeah, I don't, I don't have to worry about this one having any issues. It also came with... 7.5 volt adapter. I've actually never had an official 7.5 volt adapter for the PS1, so that's pretty cool. Came with one of these original controllers without the analog sticks. It also came with a controller with the analog stick. And it also is a red analog stick controller, and the the, the analog sticks are sticky and gross, and I'm afraid, and I'm going to have to replace those. But yeah, nonetheless, it's a, it's a cool color, so I like it. And then we also apparently got... Um, Clinique, Clinique, two hearts. Um, there's a there's a sign. There's a, is that a C maybe? No, that's yeah, that's that's probably a C. I don't know. This has nothing to do with video games. Um, but I did manage to waste your guys' time for about 25 seconds there, and that's that's something I did accomplish. Um, but yeah, this also came with some, I don't know if you saw that one, but it came with The Legend of Dragoon, complete, I had this one originally, I mean, I have had this one, and I do have it still, but it was missing disc 4, this one has all the discs, and, um, the casing for it is broken, so, I'm gonna have to put it in a non-broken case, but yeah, nonetheless, it is Legend of Dragoon. And apparently it was originally nine ninety nine. These these people must have liked shopping at GameStop. But it also had. Remember how I said I had never found a single Final Fantasy game for the PlayStation One. Not three days later. I find Final Fantasy Seven, at the Goodwill in a box full of PlayStation stuff. So yeah, I finally have this. <laughs> and I, I know, okay, so this used to be, uh, for those of us who've been collecting for a while, I, I know now this game's like worth next to nothing, but back in the day, this was like a score, 
you know, you used to find Final Fantasy VII. I was like, oh man. And then they remade it like, wait, they didn't remake it. They like re-released it like 35,000 times and uh, did like 300 spinoffs. So uh, now it's not worth much. And they're going to be remaking it, which is kind of cool. Kind of excited to see that. But yeah, it's Final Fantasy VII. Finally, I own this and I'm pretty excited about that. Now I'm just looking out for Nine and Tactics and all the other ones. So yeah. Basically any of them before seven. But yeah. Last but not least, this is a pickup from yesterday. Um, I pre-ordered this from all places, out of all places, GameStop. Because it was the only place I could get a pre-order. And I actually did an in-store pre-order. And they actually went through with it, which I was genuinely surprised by. But nonetheless, we got <laughs> Fire Emblem Shadows of Valentia. I think maybe that's how you pronounce it. I don't know. Um, honestly, I'm not a huge Fire Emblem game. This is my first Fire Emblem game. This is the first one I've ever owned. Um, and I'm probably not going to play it soon because I'm still enveloped in uh, Legend of Zelda for the Switch. I haven't even gotten to playing Mario Kart very much. So, yeah, that's how, that's how, that's how much Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild on the Switch takes over your life. Because you can take the thing anywhere and you can play it all the time. But yeah, nonetheless, I'm very excited to have this because apparently it was difficult to get. So, yeah, I didn't have to worry about it too much. I figured just spend the extra 10 bucks and get it from GameStop um, and not have to worry about... Not having to worry about uh, visiting with all my good friends at Now in Stock trying to get the freaking game because... It... Nintendo, you suck. You suck, Nintendo. You suck, Nintendo. Looking at all my Nintendo games. They suck. But nonetheless, I am very happy to have this. Um, it can go right here. And probably fall off at a later date. So yeah, uh, I think that's pretty much it for video game pickups this video. This has been Dusty. Thank you guys for watching. And I will see you all next time. Take it easy.